Hello? Hey, Ryan. Hello? How's it going, man? This is Chad. Ned? I don't know a no, Ned. Uh, uh, Chad. Chad? Um, hey, man, so... The bartender? Hey, look, look. Uh, we need you for Hopped Up Cinema this month, man. You want Panther Island? Yes. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I love you, Chad. I'll do, I'll do a million pairs. No, no, no. I only need five. <laughs> Are... We will be there, and it will taste good. I'm I'm sure they are going to be wonderful. If I'm going to do this, I'm going to need my boot team. <laughs> here. Ryan Man here. I'm the stylish one of the group. I know what you're thinking. And yes, I did nickname my hair, mustache, and beard. I uh, come up with the recipes and... The hair is fair faucet, mustache, thigh tickler, beard, patches of hulahan. And if you're lucky, you can meet all three. I'm Ben. Hi, I'm Ben. I'm all about having fun. You know, like starting a fire in somebody's kitchen. Go in the library, taking my pants off. I'm um, assistant brewer and electric cowbell player. Yep. You, electric. I didn't know they made electric cowbells. Yeah, I'm known for my signature catchphrase. Whammy! Heyo! Nature, Goulet, we like to embrace our community, so we've got a uh, local art piece by Sandy. Yeah. We can go check it out. Let's go. Hi, I'm Adam. People like me because I'm nice and polite. So we, uh, he's rebranding all of our can logos. Originally from California, but he has transplanted himself here, uh, and he's just a fantastic uh, local artist. So. And uh, for us, it's uh, you know we use local honey in our allergies. We try to use a local malt company, Tex Malt. So as much as we can, we like to incorporate our uh, community around us. I didn't know anything about brewing until he took me under his wing. I met him through music okay. years ago. What, Did you like really? 2011? Yeah, it was about 11. Well, I guess <laughs> I, I stopped touring in eight, but I, I would go on a little weekend runs with, with some bands, and that's yeah. where... Oh, so yeah. you guys knew each other before uh, uh, yes. brewing together. Yep. That's yes. awesome. He uh, had a passion for it and everything, so right. it was kind of a nice fit to have another uh, person that was into music as, as much as I am. And, yeah. Kind of shared that interest and along with craft beer. So. Yep. Seeing that, that that combination of not only creativity, but you add in science and also what we were talking about earlier, people forget that brewing's hard work. Like when it comes down to it, yeah, you can have passion for it, but you also have to be willing to put your back into it. Yeah, I literally. Think the first day we did a brew day, um, I told Ben to climb inside the mash tun, and he thought I was kidding. Now he That's goes, he goes, happens. no, you got to get in there. <laughs> it was awesome. Are you kidding me? Like, uh, how am I gonna fit in there? <laughs> All right, so take me back. Uh, when did you have the idea for Panther Island? Uh, uh, like, what what spurred you to be like, you know what, I'm gonna open a brewery? Okay. Well, uh, I'll try to keep it short. It's okay. But it's 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 the typical. Uh, you know, 2008. I uh, I just got done touring. I used to be a musician and uh, it was home and wanted to use a nice creative outlet. And so my wife bought me a Mr. Beer kit and I started making like uh, you know one gallon batches of just awful beer right uh, I wouldn't even call it beer um, and but I just fell in love with the science behind it and uh, just the creativeness of, of yeah. uh, coming up with your own recipes you know I would get a recipe and it'd be like you need to do it this way 
and I would say, okay, but what if I tweaked it a little bit yeah. and did it this way? And, and, and yeah, they, that's how they turn out terrible until I learned how to actually. <laughs> but yeah, it's a, it's a lot of hard work, um, a lot of long hours. I uh, definitely learned that from the get go, but uh, it's, it's totally worth it to see people enjoying what you've worked so hard to create. Uh, and it's just so nice that uh, I can we support families on it. And uh, it's just, it really is a dream to come true, as cliche as that is. It's awesome. You get the beer in your mouth. Get, the, <laughs> get it in your mouth. Get it in your mouth. Of course, Fort Worth is known as Panther City because the, uh, there's a joke between Dallas and Fort Worth that the economy was so sleepy here, there was Panthers sleeping in the city. And so Eamon Carter, who owned the Star-Telegram at the time, posted uh, proudly that we are Panther City. And so as they're uh, rerouting the Trinity River here and uh, doing this um, Northern Tarrant project here, they will, will eventually be on an island. So you don't need a boat, you'll still be able to uh, drive to us and, and lardy responsibly, but we will be on an island. So. How do you uh, see Panther Island progressing? Uh, Man, that uh, no, it's a, that's a tangible. that's a awesome question, but it's yeah. it's a tough one too because there's so much happening around this area right now right. with the actual Panther Island uh, district sure. uh, building and, and uh, growing and everything along yeah. the Trinity River, <coughs> and they're working on the bridge uh, down the road uh, to turn this into an actual island. Um, and right now, legally, it's called Panther Island District, um, and so. On that. Let's talk a little bit about the beer that you guys bring in for Anchorman. Which, first off, that's the best movie that your brewery could be. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. Right. This is amazing. Right. Uh, what beer are we bring in there? What what uh, can these guys expect? So I believe we have Sweet Thing mm -hmm. that's coming, which is our chocolate peanut butter milk stout. Uh, it's five percent. Yeah, it's dark and everything. It's heavy, but it's not high in alcohol. It's an uh, afternoon delight. It's a good time. It's an <laughs> afternoon delight. But I, I believe we'll have um, allergies there. Yeah. You know, uh, our uh, American wheat with the Texas honey, camel right. flower right. roses, uh, IPFNA, which is one of my favorites. IPFNA. IPFNA. Yeah. Uh, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. When we brewed it, uh, it was so good. I said. F and A, but I didn't use the actual word. Right. And I'm like, well, I can't do that. Yeah. But maybe I can just abbreviate it. And yeah. TABC passed it. Thank God. That was awesome. Yeah. And we yeah. heard your call and we immediately showed up with yeah. cameras. So yeah. we were like, exactly. well, we're here now. We should shoot this yeah. shit. <laughs> oh, we can do we, 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 we can fucking say anything. Whoa, like this. dang. I know. Nothing that bomb. I like no, that. Okay. I know. Say what you want, Super fellas. Super time. Like, yeah. Okay, okay. <laughs> Well, yeah. yeah, when I first brewed it, I said, fucking hey, that's really good. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. And then I, I, I believe we have Cannonball, yes. too. Yeah. So that's yeah. a nice Scotch strong ale. Scotch, Scotch, Scotch. Yeah. Uh, he yeah. likes Scotch. Um, mm -hmm. it, it's not aged on Scotch or anything. It's a Scottish ale. Uh, but it's my take on, on that. So. I love Bill's Brewery, man. Thank this you, brother. F &A. Yeah? I've been chilling on it all day. Yeah, what is that your say? favorite beer from here or what? Yeah, what I've, you, what I've, you rhymed, like? I've rhymed four different sentences, eh? Woo. That's what I feel about that. Panther Island, we will be back. I love you guys. We will definitely return when you are actually an island. That I promise you. I'm going to swim that channel. I'm going to swim that channel for your beer. Sexy sons of bitches. God. <laughs>